Hello and welcome to another Paint to Learn. Today we're going to create a lovely spring rabbit warren. You're going to need your pencil, some clean water, a selection of paint brushes, and several different sizes, and your watercolour paints. I'm going to start by sketching in a hillside, so create a shape and add some bits of grass to the edge. Next we're going to add some burrows under the ground to create our war. I've marked out where the entrances and exits are going to be and then I'm adding in the tunnels and leading down to some sleeping chambers. You can create these in any shape you like. I'm going to add a nest burrow at the top here with its own separate entrance. I'm now just going to sketch a tree in up here and then add some roots that go down through the burrows and the ground. The rabbits that we're drawing today are the European rabbits. They originated from the Iberian Peninsula, but have since spread to parts of Africa, Asia and Australia. They are also the ancestor of all domestic rabbits. Once you're happy with the layout of your warren, Start by painting in the sky with a pale blue. Use lots of water to keep it light and washy. A male rabbit is called a book, while a female is called a doe and their babies are referred to as kits or kittens. Once the sky is dry, we're going to paint in the ground. I'm using a light brown and I'll go back in with some dabs of a dark brown to create some different textures. We're painting in the ground around the burrows, leaving the actual burrows and tunnels blank for now. Rabbit warrens grow over time as new burrows and chambers are dug, usually by the doors, to house the ever-expanding colony. Rabbit warrens will have multiple entrances and exits to enable them to always escape the warren should a predator such as a stoat come down a tunnel, or to allow them to run to safety should they be above ground. A rabbit warren can house many generations of rabbits, often related. Young does will stay near by their mother to grow up and breed, while the books will head out on their own to find other warrens to join. Now we're going to draw in our inhabitants. In this top burrow I'm creating a grassy nest and then I'm going to add in some very small babies. Just create some little humps 
and then give them ears. You won't see much detail on these at this stage. In this bottom chamber, I'm going to sketch in a couple of young babies. These will represent about four weeks old when they're fully furred and hopping about in the burrows. Simply make them using two circles, add an eye and an ear and a little nose. I'm going to make this one standing up. So I'm going to do a circle on top of an oval and draw in its front leg. Over here, I'm going to draw an adult resting underground. And again, with a circle for its head and ears and then another circle for its rump add in some legs, a nose and an eye detail. I'm going to repeat the process up here with a standing rabbit. So I've done a circle for its back end, added in some legs and now I'm drawing in where its head will be. Connecting the parts up and then adding the details to the face. Rabbits have eyes placed on either side of their head, giving them almost 360 degree vision. Next, choose a brown colour and paint in your tree, adding lots of smaller branches and smaller roots to create a more realistic effect. Rabbits generally prefer to dig their warrens into sandy soils on sunny banks. This means that they are prone to crumble easily. Therefore, the roots of surrounding trees and plants are vital in helping to keep the ground bound together and provide stability to the warren. Now it's time to paint the burrows. I've mixed a dark reddish brown and I'm going to go in and paint all the tunnels and the chambers around where I've drawn the actual rabbits. Nesting chambers are usually dug by the mother just before she gives birth. These can be close to the warren or quite a way away but are not normally connected. The mother will have her tiny newborn babies inside this warren and then cover over the end with loose dirt, hiding it from predators. She will only revisit her babies twice a day to feed them. Rabbits are crespicular, meaning they are most active at dawn and dusk. 
spending the darkest of the night and the warmest parts of the day safely underground. some yellow for the nesting material to create some dried grass and leaves. The door will line her nesting chamber with dead grasses, leaves and any other soft materials she can find as well as plucking the fur from her own chest to create a lovely warm nest for her newborn babies. And now it's time to paint the actual rabbits. I'm going in with a red brown and painting along the back of the rabbit, leaving the front paler and then the top of his head. While this is still wet, you're going to go in with a darker brown across the top of the face, fill in the ears and down the back of the body. Using the same darker colour, adding a little bit more detail to his legs. Then get a grey colour to touch in around his bottom, his ears, and this will create some lovely different textures and shades across his body. Then repeat this same process on all the other rabbits in your warren. The baby rabbits are born in the nesting chamber after a month long gestation. They're born completely naked with their eyes closed and ears closed and are entirely dependent on their mother for the first few weeks of their lives. By just four weeks old, the rabbits will have their eyes open, be fully furred and be miniature versions of adults. They will have left the birthing chamber and will be grazing themselves and entering the main areas of the warren. At this age, they are old enough to leave their mother, as she will have another litter arriving shortly. tiny newborn babies in the nest we're going to paint with a pink colour. So we're just going to go in and paint these tiny little bodies. There's not a lot of detail on these, you just want the little pink humps sticking out of all that nesting material. With the dark brown I'm just going to add some detail to the rabbit's ear tips just to give them more definition. In the wild rabbits could start breeding from as young as six months old and can have a litter every four weeks through the spring and summer. Use some green to paint in some of the spring grasses in your scene. In the wild, rabbits have very short lifespans, averaging just one to two years. Yet in captivity, they can live up to 10 years without the risk of predation. Then using dark brown and a fine brush, you can go in and add a little bit of definition to the rabbit's legs, arms, around their face and add some little fur details. Many people are often surprised by the social nature of rabbits. They live in groups not just for protection, but for the social aspects of their nature. It is not uncommon in the wild for a single female and male to bond for life, a 
and to remain as a mated pair. Young daughters will often stay near their mother and retain a bond throughout their lives, regularly helping to raise their younger brothers and sisters. Now I'm going in with a black marker pen and I'm just going to colour in their eyes, leaving a small little white for the light shine and drawing their noses. And there you have it, a complete rabbit warren showing the different stages of a rabbit's life cycle. I hope you've really enjoyed painting today and it's starting to feel like spring where you are. See you again next time. Bye.